ball to bounce around the scene. So I'm going to add an object, just a sprite <coughs> ball, excuse me. Other property is we're going to go on its variables, add a variable, last angle. We're going to add a second variable, ball speed. We'll set that to 150 for now. Okay. Once you've declared those, we're ready to go. So add an event. Add a condition. All objects collision. We're going to check for the ball being in collision with our paddle. Okay. First action. We're going to save the angle the ball is moving at. So we're going to modify a variable of ball. The variable is last angle, which we just declared over there. And we're going to make it equal to... <coughs> excuse me, sorry. I'll do it through the menu so you can see. All objects, displacement, average angle of the forces on the ball. Okay. It, when you've got used to it, you can just type this straight in, but you can go through the menus to start with. It's a lot quicker to type it in eventually. And um, sorry, we want this on a sub-event. So sub-event, cut and paste that into a sub-event. It doesn't have to be in a sub-event, but I, f I find it's much easier for looking at later or if you get problems that each thing separated into its own sub-event. Okay, once we've saved that force angle, we're going to stop the ball and send it back the other way. So we're going to add another action um, to stop the ball, stop the object ball. Add another action to change the Y position of the ball. So once the ball is in collision with the paddle, we want to move it away just a bit so it doesn't register another collision straight away. So we're going to do minus 5 to the Y position. That'll move it just a bit away from the paddle so it doesn't double collide. And last, we're going to add a force to the ball. The angle is going to be ball dot variable with a capital V. Uh, last angle. The length is going to be ball dot variable ball speed. So that's going to be the 150 we set over here, and damping 1. OK, that should mean when our ball hits the paddle, we'll save the angle it hits at, we'll stop the object, move it just a little bit upwards away from the paddle, and add a force, oh sorry I made a mistake here, of minus ball variable last angle. So this will mean it will go back exactly the angle it came at. So if it comes in like this, it'll go off like this. Now to make the game a bit more fun, we're going to click on this. We're going to do plus random with a capital R5 minus random 5. So this will generate some random numbers, plus or minus a little, so that when the angle comes off, it's not exactly the same. So you always get a bit, of, a bit of variation in the angle that it comes off at. We need to also add a ball to our scene and add some force to it. So we're going to add a, another condition here at the beginning of the scene. All objects, displacement, add a force. The object is ball. We'll give it an 80 degree force. The length is ball dot variable ball speed and the damping is one. And of course none of this will work without a ball, so we'll double click our ball, give it a picture of a ball, and drag it into the scene somewhere. Okay, if we now preview that scene it should bounce off the paddle. There we go. Next step is to make it bounce off these walls. 